to go at him and back him up. Marvin Hagler has never had to back up much. He's never fought a guy who appears to be stronger than him as we look at them. So that may be a good strategy if he can stay on top of Hagler. One thing that really did scare me a little bit in reading some of the write-ups of Tony Simpson's history, he said he really admired Mustafa Hamshow because he did come at Marvin Hagler. He said that showed a lot of character. Character, unfortunately, doesn't win prize fights as a rule. Hamshow had 60 stitches. And Marvin Hagler has now come into the ring here to the delight of the 14,000 people in the Centrum in Worcester. How well has Marvin Hagler been doing as a champion? Well, he's been doing pretty well by and large, but he has now won 30 straight since losing a pair of fights to Boogaloo Watts and Willie the Worm Monroe. 55, 2-2, two two, 46 of those coming by knockouts. And he himself says, since I've been champion, Ray, I'm getting meaner. Well, he's worked so hard to get in the position to be the undisputed middleweight champion. And Hag is a very proud champion, Barry. And the fact is, it's going to be very, very difficult for Simpson to really take that from him. I think the general can Tony Simpson, as you look at, 47-3 and 1. He's had 27 knockouts. He's been knocked out only once. That, when he really fought a light heavyweight, Lottie Mawale, he was told, go out there, set him up, get him right now. He went after him and got nailed in the first round. Here's the tail of the tape. And Larry Merchant, a couple of interesting numbers jumping out here. Yes, uh, one is uh, Hagler's age. He, he is now officially 28. Uh, he says that he got into professional boxing at an early age, and he had to uh, use false documents so that he's 28. But the, and more important is the reach. He's got a big, big reach advantage, which is all unusual for him, six and a half inches, and the chest. Just look at the size of Simpson's chest compared to Hagler. Simpson is a big, strong fellow. It really is built very much like a weightlifter. Here are the common opponents of these two. There is not a lot to tell here with the possible exception of Kevin Finnegan, who Marvin Hagler knocked out on two occasions, and Tony Simpson was a loser to in 15 rounds, and they did fight them roughly at the same time. Each man, however, has come a long way in his career since then, despite the fact that Marvin Hagler did knock out Finnegan on two oh, occasions. Shit. Right now, let's go oh, up to the ring shit. announcer, Nuno Cam, for the introduction oh, of the two fighters. Oh, shit. Good evening, ladies and What's gentlemen. The feature attraction of the uh -huh. evening for the right. middleweight championship of the world, 15 rounds. Here at the new and beautiful Centrum in Worcester, Massachusetts, promoted by top rank Bob Aaron and Rip Valenti Boston. Also in celebration of the 20th anniversary of the WBC. Tonight's boxing is under the supervision of the Massachusetts State Boxing Commission. Chairman Tommy Rawson, Jimmy McCarron, and Joe Tetchy. Judges for the championship bout Tony Perez, New York, and San Juan, Puerto Rico, and Marcella Bettini of Italy, and referee Carlos Padilla from Las Vegas and the Philippines, timekeeper George DeFilippo, counting for the knockdowns, Jerry Albano. Attending physicians at the ringside, Dr. William Dorfman and Dr. A.P. Blumenthal. So there you have the incidentals. If confidence wins fights, Tony Simpson, Simpson should be a deadlock cinch. He's the most confident fighter and as loose, Ray, as any challenger I've ever seen. I saw him in a hotel lobby at 3 o'clock today. He was chatting with people. Just very loose. Well, that attitude, it, it helps you, but you need some artillery, too. Yeah, I, I, Instructions yeah, now from Carlos Padilla. Okay, you're going to box for 15 rounds. You know the rules of boxing. Avoid using any kinds of power. Don't throw any punches during the break. Okay, seconds for not fighting. Seconds for not fighting. Marvin Hagler, of course, does not shake hands before a fight. It is not any kind of a hostility, it is just merely the way he does business. There are 
some similarities between these two, incidentally, oddly enough. They're both from medium-sized towns. Hagler from Brockton by way of Newark. Simpson from Leicester, England. Both were hob carriers in the early days. Both turned pro at the earliest age that they possibly could. They both raise animals. Hagler raises pigeons. Simpson raises dogs. They both beat Alan Minter handily. Both were soft paws, and of course Hagler still is, although he can go both ways. First round. Quick jab was, by Hagler. He was still a great deal of boxing skill from uh, Marvin, up until he's able to hurt Simpsons, and then he'll get very mean and start taking advantage of it. Hagler very sharp early on here. Marvin Hagler not one to waste a lot of punches. Hagler very much up-tempo early in the round. What's going to be a fact in this fight, Barry, is the fact that Marvin Hagler has a very good right jab, very powerful. He sets his man up so well. Uh, two good shots from Hagler snapped the head of Tony Simpson back there. Simpson, tough customer. Simpson beat Dwight Davidson by getting inside and keeping his head on Davidson's chest. However, Davidson is 6'1". Marvin Hagler, considerably shorter. It'll be much more difficult for Tony Simpson to fight the fight against Marvin Hagler than he fought against Dwight Davidson, the number one contender at the time. You notice that combination thrown by Marvin Hagler. Double right jab and come with the left, uh, straight left hand. Those are the type of combinations that's going to do a great deal of damage to Tony Simpson. The mistake that Simpson is making is the fact he's following, actually following uh, Hagler. He needs to cut the ring off. Give a little more head face, body face. He can't walk straight into Hagler. If so, he'll nail you every time with those straight left hands. Marvin Hagler scores with an inordinate number of punches. He just does not waste a lot of punches. And the left hand by Simpson is first of the night. Simpson's waiting for an opportunity to get inside because he's more effective inside throwing those big shots to the body to the head. And Hagler's not going to cooperate with him. going to keep him on the outside of that right jab. That's a good right-hand lead by Marvin Hagler. Hagler will go from softball to righty. He's not done yet, that, yet tonight, but he will do it at some point. Simpson has fought 15 softballs, so this is nothing new to it. You see there, Simpson went to the body. Inside, once again, he's very, very strong. Tony Simpson content to fight at long range in the first round, and that is a different tactic for him. Another good thing, if Simpson can maintain this pace, this is a very fast pace for any fighter. And if he can maintain this and score some, score some, score some punches, he might see a change. Well, Mickey Duff, the British promoter, has said in no uncertain terms that Tony Simpson is the best one-punch middleweight that he's ever seen. All right, let's listen in Marvin Hagler's corner. established in that round was that Simpson is going to have to pay a price to get close to him. The question is whether that price will be too heavy as the fight goes on. Just enough distance to him. You're moving just right. Let's take a look at the combination punching of Hagler. The right lands. The left is a little bit high, but he comes right back with another right. He's making Simpson respect him at this point in the fight. But Simpson came out all right. Let's see how he does in this round. Very much of an up-tempo first round, and we'll see if that pace continues here in round two. Hagler was shot, and Simpson took it all. Simpson not likely to cut. He's only been cut once, and that was just... A minor cut over the bridge of his nose. Never been cut around the eyes. For Hagler, again, that jab is going to be a factor in this fight. Keeping this, keeping Simpson outside in the center of the ring. Against the ropes, then you're giving Simpson a chance. Simpson trying to get inside a little bit more early in the second round. Hagler still very sharp. 
You notice what Hagler's doing. He's going to the body, he fakes and comes back to the head. He, in other words, he's changing his punches up. Confuses the fight. He's not doing the same thing over. There was an uppercut lead. That hurt Simpson. And it wasn't only the uppercut. Hagler came back with two punches behind it. Always throws punches in combinations when he thinks his man might be hurt. Simpson with a good uppercut. You see Simpson now is giving more body feints. Look at that, look at that. 